Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to discover the ins and outs of Magento and learn how to set up your own e-commerce store? And of course, making your mark in the digital marketplace. That's why in this video, I will show you correctly how to use Magento e-commerce 2023. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you get the full information. So, first of all guys, I will need you to go ahead and open your own WordPress website. For me, I am using it on a local host. Here we see the dashboard itself. And for me to be able to search for Magento, simply all I have to do is go ahead to the plugin section right over here. And as you can see, I'm going to click on add new. By clicking on add new, I will be able to open the marketplace of WordPress. Here I'm going to search for Magento, as you can see, and then I'll press enter. Now let's just wait, and it will pop up right over here. Magento to WooCommerce, a WordPress plugin that will migrate Magento and WooCommerce in your WordPress website. So the first thing which is simply clicking on install now, as you can see on this uh, icons over here, the same thing goes for this plugin, and then click on activate. Right after we activated it, let's go ahead and check it on the active plugin section, and then go all the way down, and let's search for it. So it's supposed to be around here. Here it is. So if you want to to WooCommerce. Here, if I click on import, they will take me to this page where I can simply uh, import everything and do and play with the Magento parameters. First of all, if you want to Magento official website, so here we go, Magento account, here we go, let's wait a little bit, which is this one. So to log into this page and to really get your premium account on Magento, you have to get an account with Adobe. And there is another option, guys, for those who really want a good plugin of Magento on WooCommerce. There is also this Magento WooCommerce plugin. And it will be, here it is. Uh, let's close this three. And here is like a sample article that talks about on how to really install both plugins and how to migrate each one of them. So first of all, as you can see, you have to install the data migration tool. So to install it, you can click on this link. And this is all have been created on a support article on the WooCommerce.com. So it is really official. Now, supposedly you have the install data uh, migration tool as you can see here you will install it following these steps as you can see uh, you have to do that on the comment block as that and keep pasting and copying these commands you can also do them on the PowerShell if you have PowerShell installed on your Windows now let's close this and keep going so here there is Magento 1 and Magento 2. They are like version 1 and version 2, but they are still both online. Now, here is a difference between WooCommerce and Magento. So, if you are overwhelmed by the complexity of Magento or the idea of migration, WooCommerce is a great alternative for online stores of any size. It provides flexible and accessible tools for business owners and host benefits. Which is simply that they are what they are saying to you is for you to actually um, have both or have Magento is not really that efficient. It's better for you to have WooCommerce instead of having both or trying to merge both. But look, there are some people that have been using Magento for a long time and they want to switch to WooCommerce and they can't just lose their data. And that's why we came with this video. So let's go back to our dashboard over here. And here we have everything in details. So let's start by everything step by step. Now for this tool that we are using here, 
it is not a premium version. The premium version will give you more features than this one, as if this long list. So what extra features that you are going to get? You will get users migration, customers migration, orders migration, updates to the product stocks and orders, attributes migration, variations migration, upsell and cross-sell migration, ratings and reviews migration, coupons migration, SEO data, and all of these kind of different um, like uh, features that you might enjoy having on your website. And if you'd like to get it, you can simply just click on buy premium version. And this is like the official website. Click on buy now, give it some time, and they will take you to the checkout. So click on the checkout button, and it will be costing you $100 per year. So depending on what you are really having in mind, if you are interested to having it, well, it is all up to you. I don't reach it just you to, get, to get it. But in case if you are interested to have it, this will be very important to buy it. Now, if you want to import everything, there is the possibility first that you can simply empty your WordPress content first. So the old data will not get mixed with the new data. So by clicking on this button, all the data will be removed. So let's do that. Click here, click on OK, and every data will be removed from your website. You can also remove only the previous imported data if you have imported it through this tool. Here there is this automatic removal which automatically removes all WordPress content before each import. So once you get an import you they will automatically like remove uh, the previous data that you have on the WordPress. Here there is the Magento website parameters. So here you have to put the URL of the live Magento website. Here there is some parameters of the database. So here this is the host name, the part, the root, etc. And here the behavior. Uh, you can test here the database connection if it is working per perfectly for you. Um, since I'm using it on localhost, I don't really have to do so. And it will not give me anything like that. And once you feel like you are ready to go, click on start and the importation will start to do uh, for me i don't re i didn't re define anything since i have to define a website i have to give it like the details uh, here i have to check the connection and then choose uh, the like filter the media that i want to import the prices the sale prices stock magnet uh, management and if i should import the pages or not so all of these things are actually being uh, sorted over here in this section and after you do that, you can simply click on start. And once it is reached to 100%, you will be able to actually have all the content and the database in your WordPress website using this tool. So yeah, guys, that was completely it. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.